We're tracking fog early on. Dense fog advisory. Be listening for first alert traffic updates. May take you a little bit longer to get to work and school today. Once it burns off, we're in for a really pretty day of weather ahead into the mid-70s as we stay on the mild side of average over the coming week with a couple of chances for rain. Looks like late Tuesday into Wednesday and then again to start the upcoming weekend. A little bit less humidity than what we had over the weekend as well. Boy, was that tough at the Gate River Run with the... Uh, uh, oppressive humidity. As we look into the week, it's the final week of action at the Florida Legislature ahead of the close of the legislative session. A flurry of activity expected, including the one act that they have to do every single year, which is ultimately approve the budget. Uh, this is also going to be the start of early voting in Florida's GOP presidential primary. Each county with different dates uh, for the early uh, voting process. Make sure that you check with your county supervisor of elections. The primary date date is March 19th. Nikki Haley picks up her first win in the GOP primary in the District of Columbia on Sunday. Uh, not necessarily that big of a surprise given the electorate in the market there. And we are pointed towards Super Tuesday, and that's going to be the big test for Nikki Haley's sticking power in the GOP presidential primary. She has said of late that she plans to stick it out through Super Tuesday. We'll see how she ultimately performs, as most polls have shown a former President Trump expecting to win most, if not all, of those states. The Supreme Court could weigh in as early as today on the pr former president's eligibility to be on ballots. We're all over that uh, case. Uh, ultimately, as the Supreme Court is expected to release its opinion, if it happens to be in that, it'll happen at 10 o'clock this morning. We'll have updates on the radio as breaking news. And you can always get our breaking news alerts when you download for free the 104.5 WOKV app. A lot of big events happening throughout uh, Metro Jacksonville over the coming days, including this weekend's uh, Monster Jam, which is going to be coming to uh, the Everbank Field uh, as we expect multiple other events, Everbank Stadium now these days, as multiple other events are planned for the 904 and now the 324. It's also Tuesday, the opening of free agency uh, and uh, ultimately uh, the decision that the Jaguars have to make on who they may ultimately put the franchise tag on. Will it be Josh Allen? Or will they get an agreement done before Tuesday? Otherwise, will it be Calvin Ridley? We'll have updates for you throughout Jacksonville's morning news this week. Always get our breaking news, traffic, and severe weather alerts when you download for free the 104.5 WOKV app.